Hello and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where I have an extremely urgent and important update for you on the Bitcoin chart. After this massive move that we have seen to the upside, a really big short squeeze, I'm going to be going over the massive resistance level that we are up against right now, which is our weekly. Please, ladies and gentlemen, I know there's a lot of news and emotions going on right now. People are talking about Elon Musk, people are talking about you know, Wall Street bets, people are talking about all these different things, but I'm going to show you exactly why we need to block out everything and focus on the charts. It has helped us predict the move to the upside here and the current resistance that we're rejecting against. So although this move is quick, it is extremely technical and could have been foreseen. And I'd like to go over that in this video. Before I get over to the targets right now of what's happening, I'd like to just really briefly remind you all where we're bouncing from and how this was fully predicted by ourselves off of that 29,600 level. Ladies and gentlemen, you will know a few days ago, uh, there was a lot of fear in the market. As we were approaching those lows, we were saw people talking about the death cross, you know, massive, massive downwards moves, warning to you all. People were in general very, very, very scared. And what we were saying is, it's potentially that we're going to get this squeeze coming. That was back on the 27th. We were saying, you know, we're at support. This is looking primed for a short squeeze. Ladies and gentlemen, what we're seeing right now is a really big short squeeze. So think about the psychology down at the lows where everybody was really bearish was actually the time to buy. Everybody was selling down here. So what happens as price starts to come up, everybody that shorted the lows is forced to cover their shorts and everybody that sold their Bitcoin in fear is forced to buy back. And then the people that have managed to get longs down here can you know, safely add on to winning positions. So a mixture of those three things is why the price has gone up so quick. Okay, I'm not going to deny that Elon Musk put in hashtag Bitcoin has not accelerated it because it obviously has accelerated things here. But in the grand scheme of things, this is what one was expecting. I moved to the upside and basically squeezing the shorts when everybody once again was looking for like $20,000. You know, everyone was like $27,000, $20,000. Well, you know, we were literally at support. You know, we were saying about the Bitcoin pump is incoming. That was yesterday. <laughs> we absolutely got that Bitcoin pump incoming. And we were talking about if we didn't reject that CC, how we could obviously extend on to our higher price targets. And I'd like to just talk you through briefly now what we're coming up against. And I want to give you the evidence, basically, what I was looking at. Um, so you will know back when we were literally down at the $26,000 this is when we were taking our longs on the Bitcoin chart, literally at that 29,600. We were closing our shorts and going back into long positions. For me, I was saying that the risk is easy to find and we've entered our longs. Remember, this was literally at the low while the market was in so much fear. We're sticking to our plans. I'd like to show you this post here. This was posted at last night just before going to sleep. I was like, OK, I'm going to actually sleep in the rest of my longs. In my opinion, there's still more shorts to squeeze. So what I'm saying here is basically I'm foreseeing that we can actually still get a short squeeze and, you know, undergoing here because there's still so many people trying to short Bitcoin. And I'd just like to read this. This is one of my final posts before I switch before I sleep to summarize my swing trade. I'm in a long only at the moment on the midterm time frame. It looks good for more upside. I will continue to trade my swing trade long plan. We'll see what happens tomorrow, but I am happy to stay in this tree trade from what I've seen thus far. I will not be fearful, but I will rather stick to my plan. So you can see here, I'm emphasizing to people, this actually looks really good. This was obviously pulling back and it's like, there's no need to be fearful. This is a full short squeeze. And, you know, people just got really aggressive on the shorts. And I woke up this morning. I actually woke up <laughs> during this massive pump. Um, absolutely crazy uh and now i want to bring your attention to first i just wanted to highlight once again that you know this move was it, you know this was a really big short squeeze that's occurring but now i want to uh, just highlight to you we managed to short this high long this low and where, where are we rejecting up against now then well let me just highlight something to you really important here look at this this is the weekly that comes in at thirty-eight thousand two hundred and twenty-one. And this was my reply. We don't need news. Price pushing up to our weekly region on the short squeeze. Okay. As you can see, this is when we were off for the daily, but it still looked as if we were going to push to that weekly. And this is what I said last night. Looks like price can extend past target onto the 36k slash the daily. 
And as you can see, that's why we were literally down at $34,000. And we had a target actually of about 30, basically 34,700. But I was saying to everybody, I think that it's really likely that we're actually going to expand, okay, go through this local target and onto the higher targets simply for the fact I thought that we were going to be looking for a short squeeze. And, and you know, let's be honest, it's exactly what we're getting right now. So if we hide the hide everything on the charts, you can see right here, we had our important key support level, which we bounced off of. We went through our big target, but we managed to basically continue the short squeeze up to the weekly. And you can see right now, ladies and gentlemen, that we've hit the weekly and we got a pullback in price of 4% to now back test the daily. So you can see that the, the levels are really, really, really well respected. So yes, there's a lot of emotion flying around right now. There's a lot of FOMO, you know, everything's going on right now. But I hopefully, via this video, I've able to show you, it doesn't matter about anything else. All that matters is the charts. Because yes, you might say price is moving up here because of an Elon Musk tweet. But what I'm going to say is, how would have I been posting yesterday that it looks really likely that we were going to continue upwards towards those higher levels? We were still going to get a short squeeze. How could have, you know, I didn't know Elon Musk was going to tweet Bitcoin, but I still foresaw that this was likely to expand past targets up to these higher levels. So I hope that that really emphasizes I'm keeping very calm and collected. I'm trading the plan. And I'm not entering in fear i'm not entering in in fomo i'm literally just trading the charts and what i'll say is you know we have levels such as you know we had basically around 30 34700 we have the daily we have the weekly what i'll say is look at it you know it's clear weekly is currently holding you down that's basically basically coming in at around $38,400 so that's our current resistance obviously yes if we break 38,400 then we can look for higher levels but ladies and gentlemen this for me is such a big level um it really really is i can't like oh you know i i want to just stress like how important this weekly is for me it's really 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 important level um so if we are to reject at this level obviously this is where we can see our large pullback again we're going to have layers of support now your first layer of support is obviously the daily that's coming in at 36,661 resistance when broken flips into support so we do have an important support of 36,661 because we're above it but if we lose that it's going to look pretty bearish where we could see a large pullback because of the speed we've come up here obviously you can drop just as quick i'm not here to no financial advice in this video i am not telling you at all what to do with your money i'm not a financial advisor i'm just giving my opinions on the chart so please understand i'm not giving any advice at all i'm just giving my opinions here but what i'm saying is this is a big resistance for me this weekly okay really big we have daily support which if lost i could foresee a large drop coming to the downside okay at least to the base of the pump which is obviously around thirty-two thousand. So it's something to bear in mind right now. Yes, this looks, you know, you could say this looks really, really, really good. And if you have no idea about technical analysis, then you might be like, this looks absolutely amazing. Let's just buy, 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 buy. And I'm not telling you not to buy. I'm not telling you to sell. What I'm saying is we've got, an, we've got a technical reason of why we've pulled back from where we are. We've got a technical reason of why we're bouncing from where we are. We have our technical analysis that has given us the high and it's currently given us the pullback of the low. And we can t trade from here. Yes, if we break this weekly, we can be looking towards, you know, or, you know, pr probably all time highs. To, I wouldn't be surprised if we get to the all time high if we clear the weekly, to be honest. And by clear weekly, I actually mean with another increase in volume and an actual candle close above it. So not like a wick, like a swing failure pattern. If we actually clear that weekly properly, you know what? Yeah, I would say we can expect all time high. But you see how I'm approaching this. I'm, I'm not emotional right now. I'm not focused on the news, focused on what people are saying on Twitter, what other people are saying on YouTube. I'm focused on my own analysis, my own plan. And that plan is basically, if we cannot clear this weekly, I'm going to be looking for lower. We have backtested daily, but nevertheless, if we lose that, I will expect lower on this Bitcoin chart. And I'm going to keep it really simple and say, if we can actually clear that weekly, I'm probably going to be expecting all-time highs, to be totally honest with you. We might have friction around 
I would say that friction of around 40,500. But yeah, in my opinion, if we cleared that 40,500, I'd, I'd be looking for all time highs. Well, we could, yeah, you know, we could be seeing this push to $50,000 plus, of course. Um, and obviously, if we start clearing those two resistances weekly and 40,500, I'm, I'm not going to be shorting Bitcoin, you know. I'm not going to be shorting Bitcoin if we clear those resistances because that for me would be very, very, very bullish if we manage to do that. But currently as it stands, I'm actually I'm actually in a short offer of the weekly, um, <laughs> you know, but there you go. Uh, this is obviously a, a quicker trade. It's, it's nothing that anyone should try and follow. But, you know, there you go. Uh, what I'm saying is right now I'm calm and collected. I have a plan. My plan is if we do, if we clear the weekly, I look to 40,500. If we clear 40,500, again, not with a swing failure pattern, with, with a close and increase in volume, I'd expect all time highs. We're looking $50,000 plus. Alternatively, we've seen our high off of the weekly. We're unable to clear these higher, you know, really 40,500. Maybe we reject the weekly if we lose our daily. Yeah, I, I could foresee this coming down to 32,000, to be honest with you. Um, Maybe we might find a little bit higher support if we look at this. You know, this is just, let's take all of this. I suppose you might find that support there around about 35,000. So that's something I'd bear in mind, I suppose. So yeah, I'd say if we lose that daily, we can look first for the retest of 35,000. That makes sense to me, actually. And if we lose 35,000, I'd say 32,000. And if we lose that, I think, wow, well, it would look pretty bearish, actually. And then we could probably foresee this 26,000 and maybe 22,000 coming into play. But again, I'm, I'm not trying to predict here exactly what's going to happen anymore. I'm just going to say, I'll let the chart show me what it wants to do. Uh, you know, I've said it before, price is going to go up, down or sideways. I'm not here to say 100% what's going to happen. I'm just going to trade the highest probabilities for me. Once again, late remember, ladies and gentlemen, while price was at the very, very, very low of this move, I was taking long positions. Now, when price is at the very high of this move, I've actually taken a short position. I'm not getting really scared at the lows and I'm not getting really bullish at the highs. OK, so you can just see I'm not getting really bullish at the highs. I'm trading my charts and, you know, I'm making money right now. You know, I'm making money. Uh, so that, that's what you're here for. You're here for the analysis of the, of the guy that's going to put his money where his mouth is. You're here for the analysis of the guy that's going to treat this in a non-emotional, non-screamy, non-anything way. Just here's the technical analysis. Let, let's see what happens. I'm trading what I feel is the most probable. Obviously, anything can happen on the chart, but I'm trading what's the most probable. And here right now, ladies and gentlemen, I've given you the levels that we're rejecting from. Um, that, that's really that, that weekly coming, coming in. Basically, uh, the high of this candle is, da, 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 if you want to know the exact high, 38,500. Okay. 38,500. So you can see, ladies and gentlemen, there's no need to FOMO. We've got clear resistance and clear support right now on the Bitcoin chart. Um, you can literally see this with your own eyes. Look at this, look at the respect off of this daily. So currently this is support. Really, I want to emphasize that support as it stands. Again, I've given you in this video, if we lose the support, the levels to look down to. If we clear the resistance, the levels to look up towards. So a very non-emotional, full technical analysis viewpoint of the chart. Again, people are going to say that this is happening because of news. I'm going to say it was happening because of a short squeeze. And this was, to be honest, predicted. So um hope that you were aware of the pump that was incoming. And hope you've... you've uh, Tr traded it well let's just say that uh i'm gonna wrap up this video i'll say if you've enjoyed uh you can give a like to the video i guess i suppose i'll say if this video gets i don't know 2,000 likes i'd probably do a live stream for you tonight if you're interested you can give a like to the video share it with your friends and i'm gonna wrap this up i'm gonna go back to the group and uh continue to trade bitcoin so yeah that's it everybody thank you ever so much and have a brilliant brilliant day ahead thank you ever so much and goodbye